What's going on, Moxies? So today we're gonna to be talking about the dark side of fashion, and then don't get too worked up, it's not that dark. Well, it kinda of is, but let's discuss the bad things or the environmental impacts that the fashion industry has. And again, it's not that I want to talk bad about fashion, but there's some truths associated to the production side. Today we're gonna to be talking about vegan leather and real leather. And to tell you the truth, just off the bat, they're both pretty bad if you look at it on the macro sense. So today we're gonna to be discussing what the pros and cons of each ones are, and hopefully I can shed some light. Again, I feel it's my civic duty to tell you the truth. If I'm gonna be promoting fashion, then I also have to tell you the truth about what it really is. Okay, so let's get into it, guys. Vegan leather versus real leather. So vegan leather, guys. Let's discuss what vegan leather is. I did some digging, okay, and I wanna talk a little bit about the nuances, the details of what vegan leather is. But first of all, vegan leather is pleather. If anybody grew up in the 80s and the 90s, pleather was a thing, or is a thing, okay? And basically, just flat out to let you guys know, vegan leather, pleather, or faux leather, is plastic. And let's see what the environmental impacts are on that. Let me read you a little snippet from Wikipedia. Vegan leather, environmental impact. The production of the PVC, PVC being plastic, using the production of many artificial leathers requires a plasticizer called phthalate, whatever that is, to make it flexible and soft. PVC requires petroleum and large amounts of energy, thus making it reliant on fossil fuels, guys. During the production process, carcinogenic byproducts, dioxins, are produced which are toxic to humans and animals. Dioxins remain in the environment long after PVC is manufactured. When PVC ends up in a landfill, it does not decompose like genuine leather and can release dangerous chemicals into the water and soil. Polyurethane is currently the most popular use for PVC. So guys, it's plastic and it's not going to decompose. So vegan leather, to tell you the truth, was only a marketing branding ploy to trick you into thinking that you're actually being socially and environmentally conscious. But to tell you the truth, it's not. It's plastic at the end of the day, guys. So beware about vegan leather. Now, you're thinking, okay, so what should I buy? Well, let's look at real leather and see the pros and cons to that. Real leather, friend or foe? So I gotta tell you, Leather production is a pretty dirty process in and of itself. To begin with, yes, it does come from animals, and so you would be slaughtering animals. The meat would be used for consumption, and the leather would be used for the production of leather goods, shoes, bags, or whatnot. And yeah, it's not cool, and I get it, but uh, there are very few alternatives right now. At least they're new technologies, but they're not quite perfected right now. So let's talk about real leather, okay? So yes, it is not environmentally very friendly because coincidentally livestock farts, gases that, that livestock emit are one of the leading causes of, of global warming. So sorry, that's a, that's a mouthful. But there are some environmental impacts associated to that, guys. In the process for tanneries to use to get the leather where we want it to be for ready for you know goods or whatnot, there are some chemicals associated to it, and also there's a lot of water that is used in the treatment of leathers. So, yeah, it's not that good, okay? Let me just read you another snippet of the leather making process, and I'll let you be the judge. Okay, so, in addition to other environmental impacts of leather, the production process have a high environmental impact, most notably due to heavy use of polluting chemicals in the tanning process and air pollution due to the transformation process. Hydrogen sulfide during the dehairing and ammonia during del deliming solvent vapors. Basically, it's separating the hairs from the leather and also keeping it supple because, like I said, it's organic and it will rot. So there are some chemicals that help to preserve the leather, plus the water that's associated, the consumption of water. So, okay, that's not in favor as well. Vegan and also real leather. But luckily, there are some companies out there. There's a company called Zeros Tech. They're from the UK that are helping tanneries eliminate a lot of the water consumption. 
70% in fact. And I think that that's very cool. And that's a very good step in the right direction where we need to go. Some other companies also are tanning or using natural dyes like vegetable leather, which has been around for quite some time. So instead of using other chemicals for the tanning process, they use vegetable. And yeah, that is, is better. It's still not as, it's not the best it could be, but it's good. And real, real vegetable leather for the tanning process actually creates a really, really beautiful patina as it ages. And leather in the long run will decompose after a few years, quite a few years, but it will decompose no less compared to vegan leather. So, okay, let's round it up. Vegan versus leather. Both have some dark sides to it. Both are bad for the environment. But what can we do? There are some companies out there that are, that are working on new technologies, new fabrics that are sustainably eco-friendly, that they're sustainable, sorry, and they're eco-friendly for the environment. What does that mean? So let's look at another company called Pinatex. These guys are deriving a fiber from pineapples. They're 100% biodegradable and also eco-friendly. I looked into it. I don't know too much, but I can see that the textiles that they're, that they're coming out with, the products, they look nice. They don't look quite like leather, but I think that it could be, like, a, like I said, a step in the right direction. So there are some companies that are popping up that are really, really conscious about not using chemicals or trying to be as natural as possible. For the time being, guys, all I can say is try to recycle your leather goods. I would, I would go with leather because pleather is plastic, okay? And that's not gonna decompose. Go with real leather, consume less, buy less, even though it's super hard right now because we want the latest and greatest and we always wanna stay to trends. But guys, it's, all, it's really up to us if we really wanna consume or over consume. I would go with real leather. I would just buy consciously and I wouldn't over consume guys. Look at brands, there are some really good brands that are, that are really looking for that. They want to give you quality over quantity. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I know it's not exactly something that you wanted to hear, but I think it's my civic duty to inform you guys of the clothes that we're wearing and the impact that it has on our world.